Hi friends, Siddharth again. For cyber security jobs in Germany, uh, there are certain terms that I would strongly recommend you to learn them and at least understand them. Uh, terms like BSI or critical infrastructure or Bausteins or maybe uh, BSIG, ITSIG. These are some terms which are normally, I mean, I have 17 years of work experience, but I never heard when I was out of Germany. But in Germany, they are very, very relevant. In this video, I'll explain some of the critical terms that you must know if you are uh, applying for jobs in Germany in IT security. So friends, the most important term that you must understand is BSI. Uh, when you will speak in German, it becomes BSE because I becomes E in German. So BSI is basically the Bundesamt für Sicherheit in der Informationstechnologie. That means they are the governing body, uh, which is German government branch for information technology. So they are the one who regulates uh, cybersecurity rules in Germany, or in case, um, or they, they, they frame the rules for, uh, you know, the overall IT security in the complete country. Uh, also, if any organization experiences any IT security attack or um, uh, for that is suspected IT security attack, then th that organization is bound to inform BSI. I'll tell you more about this in the website. The most important thing that you should understand is BSI. Uh, so I'll just uh, get into the website of BSI, BSI, just you write BSI and the first site will be the German government site. So here you see the full form, Bundesamt für Sicherheit in der Information Technik, that is the German government um, uh, Abteilung, German government department for security in information technology. So that is the literal meaning. Well. Um, and there in, in this website, you also find an English tab. So fortunately, most of the things uh, on this website is also there in English. And you see, uh, they keep releasing some new updates and, um, you know, 19th German IT Security Congress. And, you know, the latest events which keeps coming up, like today is 25th September and on 26th September, there will be BSI Schulung Bereits Ausgebucht. Unfortunately, it's booked out. So likewise, there are so many events that keep coming up and they put it on this website. So these BSI, they are like uh, the Bible uh, of IT security in Germany. I mean, you must keep an eye on this website. You should keep visiting this website and keep, get yourself acquainted with it. So the BSI, if you click on it, uh, there will be some more information, BSI's mandate. Um, on 1st January 1991, the BSI commenced its work on the basis of this, 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 this. So you can just have a, um, just read this if you feel like, and you'll feel a lot of information around. The next important thing uh, to note about is critical infrastructure. So friends, uh, German government has clearly defined the rules regarding critical infrastructure. Uh, there are some 10 Abteilungen uh, or maybe you can say 10 different organizations like um, energy, communication, medical healthcare, food supply. These are the different, uh, you know, profiles of organizations which qualify for critical infrastructure. And again, um, there, is, there are certain rules related with their turnover. So if they are having some 1.5 million uh, orders per year, um, there are certain rules regarding which I'm not going to go into depth uh, of that uh, terms. But in case organizations qualify for critical infrastructure, then they are obliged to follow the rules which are mandated by BSI. So again, in the website, there is clear outlines that I'll show you right away. So the critical infrastructure that I was talking about, uh, you should be able to find it somewhere around. Let me check out IT topics. Yeah, you know. So here in topics, I should be able to find critical infrastructure. Ah, uh, yes. So you see, uh, critics and regulated companies. So here you see critical infrastructures. As I said, there are some 10 uh, profiles of companies which have been identified as critical infrastructure in Germany. And they are 
like um, the most important for the running of a typical society society means um, you can say a country so here you see uh, somewhere I should be able to find the photo also yes so you see the critical infrastructure compiles of energy health information technology transport media water state and administration finance municipal waste disposal and food so these are the sectors which are most critical and of course there will be some companies uh, let's say I take an example of health there could be some companies who are very small uh, but they are still dealing in health industry they are still in critical um, uh, uh, profiles however again uh, let's say there is one company called ABC and there is one company called XYZ in health and XYZ is very much bigger than ABC so XYZ will be an operator of critical infrastructure and there are still some conditions associated with it uh, well I'm not going to dive deep into it but this is for your information that if you are looking for jobs in IT security in Germany as on today you should focus upon these 10 profiles because they are actively looking for IT security professionals. Another important point to note about this critical infrastructure friends is they are bound to get audited every two years and audited means a typical cyber security audit that has to be done and again there has to be an audit committee, audit meeting and um, audit team. There are so many uh, laid down uh, rules uh, which, are not, which are not the topic of today's video but I'll tell you in detail in the later videos. But what I wanted to tell you is these critical infrastructures are bound to be audited every two years and submit an audit report to BSI every two years. So here again there is a lot of career opportunities because these uh, organizations regularly require cyber security professionals or uh, auditors uh, which uh, which is a very you know fertile ground for you and people like you and me to get employed now uh, these critical infrastructures are bound to get audited every two years and uh, that could be an internal audit or an external audit but they have to submit a report to BSI every two years so that's why they are always in lookout for IT security professionals. Now the third term that I wanted to tell you is IT SIG. So it means information technology Zischer Heights Gesseds. Gesseds means uh, rule. So IT SIG 1.0 was launched somewhere in 2014. Uh, I'll check out. And IT SIG was released in 2021. Okay, now I will talk about IT SIG. So if you see simply Google it ITSIG 1.0 and on this site bsi.bund.de you will find ITSIG Gazette zur Erhöhung der Sicherheit Informationstechnischer System IT Sicherheits Gesetz 1.0 So this is the first version of ITSIG which is um, IT Sicherheits Gesetz that is IT security rule you can say in typical in, in, uh, in transliterated English. So from July 2015 it was uh, put into effect and that is an old story that's 7.7 7 years old. Now we will talk about IT Zischer Heights Gesetz 2.0 because this is the one which is most relevant to us and it came into craft that is it came into power on 23rd April 2021. At least you can say um, uh, on in, in the year 2021 it was put into effect. Now another point to note about is uh, IT Grundschutz. So Grundschutz is basically the um, information technology basic security. Now here uh, they have uh, introduced uh, something uh, which is known as Baustein which literally means building blocks. So they have uh, um, BSI has released a list of some 800 plus building blocks and uh, they are uh, mandatorily to be followed by every organization of course if there is any deviation then they can clearly document it and uh, put it on paper that yeah because of this reason these bows times uh, cannot be achieved or they are not applicable and uh, there are obviously certain exceptions uh, for this bows times also one more point to note about is IT Grundschutz compendium so this compendium or they call it as Orientungshilf that is a kind of a helping uh, document 
for any new organization let's say if any organization hires you and you are now unable to decide or to understand what to do next then there is a grundschutz compendium which unfortunately is a very big pdf file it's close to 800 pages but the good point is it is also in english so you can just go through this which which essentially is a collection of bausteins that is the building blocks but it still helps i mean when I got to know this Grundschutz and uh, this compendium thing, I was literally, you know, confused. But uh, with the help of this PDF file, I could understand the complete structure. I'll also paste link to this PDF file in the description. You can just have a look at it and um, that will definitely help you out. Okay, going further. So I was talking about the Baustein. I think it is not there in English, in English version, but I still want you to know about BSI Baustein. So if I just um, put it on Google, BSI Grundschutz Baustein, and here you see, unfortunately I didn't find this in English, but it's it's kind of uh, the backbone of the complete BSI IT Grundschutz. So here you see there are 10 different headings. One of them is ISMS, ORP, CON, OPS, likewise there are 10 headings and Every heading has more group of bausteins. So ISMS fortunately has only one, ISMS.1. But if you see ORP, which is organization and personal, so there are Ein, Zoe, Dreif, Fun, Fun bausteins in there, group of bausteins. And again, within them, there will be a more collection of building blocks. So as I said, in total, there are close to 800 building blocks, which are grouped like this. Now, con bedotted conception and forgain wise. So that is the process uh, and uh, the pro the the law the the policies and process. Uh, then retrieve is your operating system. So here you see uh, there are so many uh, building blocks. Dare bedotted or means detection and reaction up up bedotted anwendungen sys bedotted IT system and is not India, it is industrial IT. Net is Nets and Communication Infrastructure, INF. So these are the building blocks. I will just click upon one of them. Let's see what does it mean. Let's say I go for Bureau Arbeits Platz. That means Bureau means office, Arbeit means working place. That is office working place. So if I just click upon it, it has opened a PDF file which is five pages in length and here you see there are still a lot of bausteins. So INF.7 is Bureau Arbeits Plan. It's a collection of more building blocks and here you see there are so many like 2.5 to a deep stall that is case of theft, 2.6 Fliegende Verkabelung Kab, Fliegende that is cabling which is you know hanging around freely and Forderungen requirements and these are, you, you see, they are, again, these are the Bausteins, inf, zwei. So this is just to make you aware of how does this Baustein thing looks like. Now, going ahead uh, in this Baustein thing, which comes under Compendium. So I would again show you the Gesamt Compendium, which has some 800 plus pages and that is um, I mean the guideline the Bible of every IT security person in, in Germany it's 900 pages and you see it's 2022 I think uh, version yes February 2022 I think it's the lit obviously it's the latest one so he, it compiles it comprises every Baustein and all information is, uh, you know, collected in this PDF of 900 pages. Let's say I, uh, let me now check out IT Grundschutz. So BSI plus IT Grundschutz. So you see compendium is another thing that I was talking about, but I will now check out IT Grundschutz and here we should be able to find some important information. So here we are, IT Grundschutz. So this is the basic IT security 
and here I should be able to find great IT Grundschutz compendium. So this is the one that I was talking about. It has, it is basically a collection of uh, Baustein. Baustein means the building blocks. And let me check if it is there in English as well. Yes. So BSI um, uh, Grundschutz Systematic Basis for Information Security. So 2021 version, if you see, it is 787 pages long. You need not go through each and every page of course but you should definitely go through it once and understand the basic concepts it grunschutz compendium this is in english came into power in 1st february 2021 and it has a collection of many baustein so let's say these are the bausteins that is the building blocks and every building block has a meaning along with it some text is also there and there will be a lot of information. Let's say if I take up ORP 2.A.A14, tasks and responsibilities of employees. A15 talks about qualifications of uh, personnel, that is to supervisor control. Uh, CON 7.A.11, use of anti-theft devices. So these are the <clears throat> building blocks. So friends, these are the certain terms which you must know mandatorily uh, before going for any interview. And trust me, if you are able to, uh, you know, speak out these points uh, in an interview, I'm sure the interviewer will be more than impressed and you will be in a position to get that job. Friends, if you've got any comments or uh, any questions regarding this video, please feel free to put them on comment section. And if you have liked this video, if you find this video valuable, please consider subscribing to my channel and of course, like this video as well. Till next time, see you and bye-bye.